Mr. President, Israel is under attack, and it's under attack by a terrorist group that denies its very right to exist. And it's under attack by an organization called Hamas that is sending thousands of rockets toward Israelis' cities and towns, targeting innocent civilians. Its very survivability is being defended by missile defense technology. The most crucial for short-range missiles is a technology called Iron Dome. This missile defense technology has saved hundreds of lives. I can speak to this when I say personally, not because I'm in Israel and see the horrific attacks, but I have a classmate from college, a very dear friend. We've stayed in contact over a number of years. She is a psychiatric nurse. She, when she married, they made Aliyah and moved to Israel, where she is taught at Hebrew University, her husband, a distinguished psychiatrist. They live in a town called Ashkelon. And in Sunday, she sent me the most poignant of emails. I won't read it to my colleagues, but suffice to say, she wanted to tell us what's going on. Every day, there are these rockets going off. They spend their life going to shelters. They can only move in a small patch around because they can only, they have to be under really safety rules within two or three minutes from a shelter. She said in her email to me that it is literally Iron Dome that is saving their lives. Well, Mr. President, Iron Dome is a technology that needs to be replenished. It needs to be replenished, and the State of Israel has discussed this with their government, and Secretary Chuck Hagel wrote to our committee asking that this be in the supplemental because essentially this war or terrorist attack against Israel. The committee has responded by placing $225 million in there uh, in order to replenish this. Now, there are many who say, well, I don't know if I want to vote for this. What is Iron Dome? And is this an attack technology? Let me say what Iron Dome is. Iron Dome is a high-tech defensive system. It's not an offensive system. It's used as a mit missile defense system. How does it work? A approximately 10 feet long missiles inter or intercept rockets. Their rockets aren't designed to shoot out. They're designed to in shoot rockets shooting at rockets that are being fired on Israel from a range of between 2.5 and 43 miles. Each missile each missile, each interceptor missile, remember, it intercepts another rocket, costs about $50,000. Stunning, isn't it? Israel has invested over a billion dollars of its own money in Iron Dome. Our government has worked with them to develop Iron Dome so they can maintain their qualitative edge. But just think, in order to protect themselves, every rocket going off cost $50,000. As of July 30th, over 2,730 rocket launches have been directed at Israel itself. Iron Dome has sent over 515 interceptions. Nine batteries have been deployed. More than 4,100 targets were attacked since the beginning of the operation. But remember, 27 100 rockets have been directed at Israel. Iron Dome has deployed 515 at the cost of $50,000 apiece. Now, what they're saying is, help us replenish our interceptor rockets because we're using them up. Essentially, it's bullets not directed at people, it's rockets in the air. Israel knows that it has a 90% success rate in intercepting these rockets coming from the Gaza. What they're asking for help from us is the ability to replenish these rockets. I hope that we do this in order for them to continue, 
to continue to be able to defend themselves. It's absolutely crucial that Israel has the opportunity to defend itself while others are working on ceasefires or political solutions. Those are excellent diplomatic and humanitarian goals, but right now we have to make sure that Israel can defend itself. This is important because Israel is a treasured ally. It's important that we enable them to guard themselves against a terrorist organization. We all know that the long-range solution is that the Hamas infrastructure must be eliminated. That's absolutely so. These so-called, well, they're not so-called, uh, you know, as a member of the Intelligence Committee, I've had many briefings on this. I can't go in detail. But there are tunnels that go right through Gaza and into the edge, or actually, in some instances, into Israel itself. During, these, uh, during this conflict, Israel has discovered 31 tunnels, extremely disturbing. They can show, and they're big. These aren't like, you know, when you think of a tunnel, this isn't like a little pipe, you know, for water. This is a tunnel where as many as two people could cross themselves side by side going through, and in some instances, actually weapons being able to be carried through. These tunnels are the very threat to Israel's existence, and in addition to the tunnels, the rockets that are pummeling Israel continue to be fired every single day. We believe that for our allies, the right to self-defense. We have signed memorandums of agreement to enable them with their missile defense system and to maintain their qualitative edge. Now, when they are in a very struggle for its safety and perhaps its future, we need to be able to pass this important legislation. We also know that when we pass this legislation, Iron Dome shouldn't stand alone. And the people, many people who support the Iron Dome legislation, like I, want to also support those people who are also under threat. 